Hey, it's Mars, and this is Let's Make a Dungeon Crawler Part 15. In this video, we'll be going over our second highlighting option, and that will be using materials. We'll start off on the sword again. I'll grab the sword, artwork, and go to the mesh renderer component to see what, what material I'm using. And it's called AO3. So I'll press Ctrl D to duplicate it. I'll rename the one it was using to, let's say, sword, regular, and my duplicate to sword, highlighted. And you can name these whatever you like. For our shader, we'll be using our outlined, silhouetted, bumped, diffuse, cutout, double. So our highlighted material is using our custom shader, which I'll put in the description if you'd like to download and follow along. And we can set an outline color. I'll just use green for the sword. And then we can see if I drop this material onto the sword, it will have an outline. That looks okay. So now we need a way to tell the game when to use this new material. I'll put the regular one back on for now. And then in our ply blocks, instead of set cursor on mouse enter and exit, we can do a common set property. And I want to set the property on my mesh renderer. I can drop that into my set property block or I can drag in the game object itself, it's up to you. Then we can browse to mesh render material material. And now in this null box, I simply can drag it from the project window. So on mouse enter, we'll use highlighted, and I'll copy this block. On mouse exit, we'll use regular. Let's test that out real quick and make sure everything's working. All right, let's continue on with our enemy. On mouse enter, we won't be using the cursor, or on exit, or on death. So let's go to common, set property, and real quick, we'll need to make the new highlighted material. So I'll go into the skinned mesh renderer, grab the material, I'll duplicate it with Control D. I'll name this one Zombie Highlighted, or whatever you'd like to call it. And once again, we'll be using the outlined, silhouetted, bunk, diffuse, cutout, double shader. And I'll move this zombie over here so I can see it in my game camera, and I will adjust, well, I'll drop the material on, that way I can see how it looks, get the outline width just right, that looks okay. And I'll set him back to his regular material. And now in our ply blocks, let's do on mouse enter. And we will, once again, we can drag the game object that has the skin mesh renderer or the renderer itself. It's up to you. I'll drag the renderer in this time. We're setting the material, material. And on enter, that will be the highlighted material, on mouse exit, regular material, and on death, regular material. Okay. And last but not least, let's do the door. I'll grab the mesh renderer as material. Duplicate it with Control D. I'll call this one highlighted. 
grab the custom shader, give it a color, drop it on to see how it looks. There we go. Yellow looks all right for this door. And I'll drop the regular material back on. And now we can go to the door supply blocks on mouse enter, common set property, mesh renderer, material, material. And on enter, we'll do the highlighted material. On exit, the regular. And on interact, let's go ahead and set it to regular as well. And I'll get rid of these cursor changes. All right, let's test it out and see how it looks. All right, zombies looking good. Sword looks all right. That was our second choice for highlighting using materials. And that's all for this one. Thank you so much for watching, and if you learned something, hit that like button. Join me next time, where we'll be going over our third and final highlighting option, and that will be using shaders on our camera.